Hey everybody, it's Crazy Cubing Carol. How you doing? Today I'm going to be unboxing a bunch of parts for my Rubik's Cube solving slash scrambling robot. <laughs> is um, one part of a bunch of different videos that I'm going to be doing for my Rubik's Cube solving slash scrambling robot. Um, basically, this video is going to be the unboxing of um, all the parts I'm going to be using for my robot. Um, and the next video you know, might be about my um, building the case for my Raspberry Pi. But basically, um, because it's taking me a little bit of time to um, construct the entire robot, I'm going to be splitting it into um, multiple videos so that you guys don't get like an hour long video of me trying to construct a robot. In my last video that I made with my Rubik's Cube solving robot, I used the P brick to download Minecuber software and make a Rubik's Cube solving robot. But for this video, what I want to do is actually use a Raspberry Pi as the motherboard because I can use um, Scratch, which is a programming language that I know, um, to make a Rubik's Cube scrambler. Um, instead of downloading someone else's software onto this. And also, um, if I wanted to program using this, I would have to use the LEGO Mindstorm um, program instead of Scratch, and I'm more familiar with Scratch than I am with the LEGO programming. So the first part we're gonna be starting out with is the Raspberry Pi 3, and it's Model B, and this is the um, motherboard we're gonna be using for the robot. So let's just open it up right now. All right, so here is the Raspberry Pi. And again, this is the motherboard. And also you might be wondering why I have aluminum foil in the back. That's because um, I don't want to accidentally like use static electricity and zap the motherboard and completely ruin it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna open up is the Brick Pi, and this is by Dexter Industries. This is an expansion pack to the Raspberry Pi so that um, the motherboard works specifically for Lego. So in here we have the um, battery case. Here's the Pi. And then here is the case. Also, in here we have a cable which connects the battery holder. And the battery holder requires eight AA batteries, but basically this would just, you know, connect like this and then this part would connect into the brick pie. All right, so next we have this micro SD card. So here's the super teeny tiny micro SD card, and here is the adapter to plug it into my computer. And this has um, 32 gigabytes. The Raspberry Pi says um, it can hold 32 gigabytes, but um, in other places it also says that it can hold 64 gigabytes. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Next we have another super small thing. This is a Wi-Fi Nano USB adapter. Um, according to Dexter Industries, um, they're still testing whether or not the Brick Pi works with the Raspberry Pi built-in Wi-Fi, but just in case it doesn't work, um, I got um, this, and it was pretty cheap, so it doesn't matter if it works or not. Okay, so the last thing we have is the power supply, and I am 100% sure that this powers the Raspberry Pi, but I am not 100% sure if um, this will power the Brick Pi or if I need the um, eight AA batteries as well. So that is it for this video. Um, the next part, which is part three, is going to be about constructing the case for my Raspberry Pi. Um, there's going to be many, many more parts um, for the process of building this Rubik's Cube solving slash scrambling robot. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on Crazy Even Carol. Bye!